pretty much every video that I have put out since the new expansion of Endwalker, I always get a comment saying, how do I achieve this stacking cross hotbar? Well, today I am going to show you specifically that. Just to achieve this stacking cross hotbar is pretty simple. So I wanted to do a dedicated video on that. You're simply gonna go into your character configuration and go all the way down to hotbar. You're gonna wanna tab over to sharing. And in order to achieve this, I am sharing hotbar three and four. The second hotbar that's above my main one is hotbar two. The reason you don't wanna share hotbar two is because then whatever you put there is gonna go for every job. We want just hotbar one and hotbar two to be job specific. Hotbar three is my right trigger to left trigger hold, which you see here, and my left trigger to right trigger hold right there. I have hotbar four as well shared, but that's just for extra skills. I don't necessarily utilize that at this very moment. But hotbar three is where every job will have the same exact buttons no matter which job I press. So if I go to black mage, Hotbar three is the same, but hotbar one and two have changed. Same with Astro, still the same exact things, and Sage. Pretty much every job is the same way. I just wanted to give you some examples. So after you share hotbar three and four and you have one and two unchecked, you're gonna go over to cross hotbar. Under cross hotbar, you're gonna wanna enable it. Always display cross hotbar. I get rid of hotbar help because that means the names will pop up, which take up space and block other abilities. And I don't like that. So uncheck hotbar help. You can have the pet hotbar. I don't really use that. I just set them on my hotbars if needed. Enable duty action input. That's just for specialized duty that will pop up kind of right next to your cross hotbar. How to achieve how I play with cross hotbar, which is double tapping right trigger in order to access hotbar two. You're gonna need the hold options. This is the only option that you can use in order to do this setup that I'm doing specifically. And what this means is all I have to do is just double press R2 and L2 to access my abilities. So if I wanna do diagnosis and then up to Soteria, then it's just a quick double press up all in the same screen. I don't know how anyone plays with just one hotbar. There are far too many abilities and skills to be able to do that. This is the way I think everyone should be playing unless you're just some sort of magician. Next, you wanna do cross hotbar display type and do the D-pad plus action buttons and D-pad plus action buttons. This is gonna make sure that the D-pad and action buttons are on the same side. So if I hit the right trigger, this left side right here is D-pad, the right side is action. Next, you're gonna do cross hotbar display. Always display second cross hotbar, which is what this WX stands for, is the second one up top. And you wanna return to your main cross hotbar after this input. So that means when, say I'm using Krasis, as soon as I hit the Krasis button, it will automatically put me back down to cross hotbar one. This is important because of how I set up my cross hotbars for all my jobs. I set everything up top that I don't have to use often, say like long cooldown times, like 90 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, 120. Anything that's gonna be on a long cooldown is gonna be up top and everything I use often is gonna be on bottom. The next setting you're gonna to wanna to hit is position second cross hotbar separately. We're gonna adjust this in the HUD layout screen. This timer is very important. Do not skip this. This is personal preference and depends on the type of controller you have. I can't really think of how to put it in words, but the lower the timer is the amount of time between inputs. So if I have it to 25, I would have to hit very quickly in order to get to the second cross hotbar. And it's just the time of inputting the right trigger twice. So if you see that I'm just doing it like kind of slow, it won't put me to the cross hotbar up top. I'd have to do it really quick. If I put this timer up, then even if I do it slowly with long input times, I'm guessing the numbers in milliseconds, I will still access the cross hotbar even though I'm pressing it very slow. I find for myself 50 is the best for me and how I play. It's just enough time where uh, it doesn't 
make me go up. I would might even do it like a little lower, like maybe 45. The last thing that you need to set up is expanded controls with LT, RT, and enable cross hotbar with simultaneous LT and RT. This right here, the first setting, is how we access our job abilities in terms of what's shared between everything. Because remember, we did share cross hotbar three right here. So by sharing this cross hotbar three and setting it to the left and the right trigger, this is how I access the same abilities, teleport, mounts, sprints, anything like that. I don't ever put my sprint on my main two hotbars because there's no reason for it during battles as much, especially if you've been playing for a long time. So I have it right here in order to access it. This second setting right here is the most important. This is how you set up being able to double click right trigger or left trigger going into your second cross hot bars. You want to make sure that you enable cross hot bar with simultaneous and enable directional and action buttons. If you just did the action buttons, then instantly the cross hot bar has gone away. I've only have these two. That might be fine for some jobs if you want space, but I just can't think of a reason why you wouldn't want both showing. Then with the left trigger, you wanna make sure you line this up correctly with the cross hot bar. So the left trigger is for cross hot bar two left and the right trigger is double tapping for cross hot bar two right. So now in order to access your second cross hot bar, if you hold R1, you notice that a tiny little sub menu comes up one through eight. The white squares around the numbers mean those are shared. And that's what I use to put all of my stuff so that I'm able to switch between things without hitting my mouse. I do play on a keyboard, but I play with controller and that's just how I've always played. If you notice one and two do not have white around it, those are the ones that are not shared. If you hit R1, you will shuffle through all of your cross hot bars that have abilities on them. If you notice, we're only going from one, two, three, five, and eight because those are the only things that have abilities. We're not hitting anything else. You can also hold R1 and just hit the B button and just go from one to two. When you're setting up your cross hotbar, you cannot assign abilities on your second cross hotbar without being on it. So what I mean by that is, is you have to be on cross hotbar two in order to put abilities here. If I try to drag and drop on the top cross hotbar, it will not work. This is just for visual and to access the skills when you're battling, but you can't drag and drop abilities, but you can on the first one. After you hit all those settings, we're gonna jump over to HUD layout. This is how you're going to be able to form your cross hotbar the way you want. I've tried it many different ways where I've had it to the right and to the left, but right up above each other is what really works for me. And it just makes it easier to understand what buttons you're pressing in relation to each other. So because you click the previous setting to display display separately, you can adjust the right cross hotbar and the left cross hotbar. If you don't, this will just be one big block, which I don't like. I like to make sure that it's like exactly over the section, which I use the D-pad on the controller to like make sure it's in the same square. And then just click on the other one and adjust that to where you want. And this is why not having the name show up is super important because it will block the abilities above. You can also do some other really fancy things like putting a hotbar up here maybe next to where you're looking to see where cooldowns are so you don't have to keep looking down but i've been playing enough where i have really no problem where it's located i like it to be really small and out of the way because i like to see the battle and what's going on after you set this up it is purely just subjective of how you want to set this up i do it the same for all of my jobs and i'll probably be having controller hotbar setup guides cross hotbar setup guides come out for every job i get a lot of questions as to specific jobs and how i set up their cross hotbar but in order to just get the cross hotbar this is how you do it the main takeaways is that you have to have the hold cross hotbar control settings i do not mess with toggle or mixed i don't think they're good for fast gameplay or really any type of gameplay it's just too difficult to access skills and in order to get the double it has to be on hold i really hope that this video helped to learn how to do a stacking cross hotbar i do not know how people play with just one hotbar on controller it's almost nearly impossible or maybe they have it set to right trigger left trigger but the double stacking hotbar is the absolute best way in my opinion to play 
If you want to see a controller cross hotbar setup for every single job, then comment down below and let me know. And I would kind of be really excited to put that together for you guys. Make sure to limit break three that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell in order to get notified of all my Endwalker videos coming out. I wanna give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters as if it wasn't for you guys, then I wouldn't be able to put out continued content on this channel. If you guys wanna connect with me, then you can find my Discord down below. It's a really great place to come hang out, chat with me and a ton of other people and learn things about the game and just find a really good hearted community who just likes to have fun. Wanna watch more Endwalker tutorials and guides? Then you can click here.